welcome to the channel. I'm Emma. And I'm Brad. And today we will be tuning my dad's Audi S3 to increase horsepower and torque in order to increase the power output of the engine. The optimal air to fuel ratio is 14.7 to 1, 14 parts of air to one part of fuel. We are primarily going to be increasing boost to 1400 millibar or 21 pounds of boost from the stock 17 pounds of boost. And we'll also be decreasing the air to fuel ratio to 12.2 to 1 in boost. Once the calibrations are complete, we will be flat, we will flash the tune using the Cobb access port, then do some data logging to ensure the tune is working properly. Let's get to it. This is the boost map, or low limit map. I'm adjusting the load limit in millibar to 1450, and this will allow boost to be at 22 to 21 PSI. You can see in the 3D graph here that requested boost is now at 1450 and are going to taper it down a bit at the end for proper boost calibration. Right now I'm selecting Lambda at full load which is going to allow me to adjust air fuel ratio. I selected this area of the map and I am lowering the air fuel ratio to between 0.86 and 0.82 Lambda. Lambda is a calculation that is used by most European manufacturers instead of air fuel ratio. When we convert from Lambda to AFR, we get a 12.6 to 12.0 in the range we are at. Okay, we got our handy dandy access port here. We're going to plug her in. I'll let it boot up. We open the Access Port Manager app and are going to load the tune onto the Access Port by searching for the tune on the right side of the app window. Then we are going to click and drag the tune file to the left side of the app window and this will save the tune file to the Access Port. Now we are going to flash the ECU. All right, we are now in the S3. Emma's gonna flash the tune, so we're gonna go to the uh, little green arrows there, which is the tune section, so hit this down. And then you hit the center button. And then we're gonna select uh, engine. Yep, so ECU map. I'm going to select my tune that I made from this menu here. Then we will get this message that states to make sure battery voltage is good before we flash. Click OK. The access port needs to initialize to the ECU before it flashes. Once it initializes, then we are able to flash the ECU. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Flash is just finishing up now. All right, so it's gonna ask us to, hold on, turn off the key. So hit the power button. All right, then we're gonna hit the power button again. All right, then hit the center button. And right now it goes through and clears all the fault memory. So anytime you flash the ECU or the transmission control module, the TCU. So the ECU is the engine control module, so that's that's the short is ECU. But um, it'll say it's done. So go ahead and turn the turn the key off there. Alright, hit the center button. Okay. And then you're gonna hit the back button there. And then scroll up, which is the up button. The gauges one more time. There we go, hit the center button. Alright, moment of truth. Here we go, ready? Here we go. Turned on. Alright, it turned on. Sign. Yay! First start after the tune. Okay, cool. So we're good to go. We're running. A couple revs. It's warmed up. Let's go for a drive. So we're gonna drive for a few minutes, just kind of hanging out, chilling, nothing crazy, just to let the uh, car adapt to the tune. Cause you usually never want to just go and floor right off the bat. ECU needs a few uh, miles to kind of calibrate it, you know, recalibrate itself, get used to the tune changes. Uh, so once we drive a few miles, then we'll get into boost and see 
see what uh, what our boost gets to. Um, I'm gonna go over a few things on the gauge here. Sure. All right. So this number right here is the air to fuel ratio, which we have already discussed. Um, the knock is what happens when there um, is pre ignition, which means that too much timing and then uh, ignition timing is uh, when the like explosion actually happens so when the spark plugs ignite before top dead center and then intake air temperature is <laughs> is the heat in the turbo after boost is produced This guy, we're gonna accelerate hard. Here we go. That looked good to me. What did we hit? 23 psi spike, and then I saw like 21, 22. I think it was 21, right? So that's good. It's basically right where we set it. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna do a quick zero to 60 run. We got the performance gauge up here. We're gonna start zero to 60 now. Okay, it's getting ready. Put it in sport mode. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. That's really good. 5.028. Yay. Great job on the tune, sweetie. That's Thanks. awesome. Alright, so we're gonna do a data log real quick just to see how everything's doing. Get into third gear. I'm just gonna hit the button. Go ahead. And then we're gonna go full throttle. This is the data log from the tune we just did. The red line represents boost pressure, and the blue line represents AFR. Both boost and AFR are doing what they are supposed to. Yep. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Yeah, that pulls hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. 13.4 I may have slowed down Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed learning how to tune It was a great experience. It's been really really good tuning with you and the car is running great uh, It's been awesome teaching her the uh, wizardry behind ECU calibration, you know um, And uh, of course getting to spend time with my daughter is always awesome Make sure to subscribe and uh, also give this video a like because Emma worked really, really hard on this project and she's had uh, a lot of school time with it and learning and what else? Fun. Got to have fun, right? Got to have fun. A lot of writing. A lot of writing, yeah. A lot yeah. of stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's done a lot of stuff with it. So, you know, again, uh, thanks, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.